Hello everyone, welcome back to E6E. So, I solved my issue of uh, no aura in this area, and that is to grow a butt ton of these trees, these ancient trees. I no longer have the sickness. I'm no longer down with the sickness, as the kids say. Um, but I'm quite hesitant to, like, spawn another one of those right now. Especially because we could not pick it up with a soul gem. So, uh, I'm probably going to do that downstairs instead. So, I'll pick up the altar and I'll need to grow some trees in it and everything. And that was it. Uh, I went into the Atune dimension because I needed some dates. I needed a date. Pilpo needs a date. And uh, I, I managed to find two god items just in some chests. I didn't know you could do that. So we got a couple of shoe ones. And I've got a Horus one as well, which I've already got some of those. But yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we are going to have to make another one of them eventually because we do need that, that scale. Uh, but... I think today we're going to focus on something else. You do not pull out whatever I try, unfortunately. Is it not like, like, is there MBT or something that's weird with this extract? And then I didn't put an insert, that's why. Silly boy. There we go. I'm trying to make a few more of these uh, snowball things because we do need them, obviously, to make this bad boy. So I'm going to make a couple more of these. So I'm sure we need this for other things. Um, I suppose we kind of can just continue without getting the endo flame because we do have a bunch of blacker lotuses. So today we are going to focus on getting this weak blood shard. And to do that we do need some of this Arif Ah, oh, I do need to get to tier 2. So, well, we can make this today. Let's do that. So, we need an Isis God Shard. We need Ingot of the Skies. Which I believe means we need one of these offering tables. So, we do need to get one of these. Uh, see, Ritual of Summon Wilden. Okay, I've got the book right here. Um, where is summonings ritual of brewer reaper I was I was there right where was it it's not in here it was this one no I did get the staff of boulder by the way which um staff of boulder what this does is you can shoot it at I don't know let's say that Okay, I'm on the travel anchor, but if I shoot it at, maybe it's right hand. Not entirely sure, but what this does is it's supposed to, maybe I need one of those aura band things, but it, it shoots a a beam, basically, and it will turn whatever, whatever block you look at into a light level of glowstone. So we could actually get rid of these horrible looking lamps all over the place and just shoot this at a block of our choosing and they'll glow like glowstone. Which is pretty good, pretty good. I got that as a quest reward because in Nature's Aura, when you do this, you get one of these stuffs. It's really, really nice. At some point, I am going to have to make one of these tokens of fear. Uh, that's what these are used for. Yeah, you have to kill the Threshers for that. That's fine, we can do that. I could go capture one and put them downstairs, to be fair. Everything is just capture it and put it downstairs nowadays. So, to make this offering table, we need, by the looks of it, some of this tainted gold to make one of these runes of calling. Fair enough. Uh, I need some more runes. Fair enough. So, ah. And what is it for the, the sky thing? Because that's what we're going for. Sky 
ingot. Okay, well I know I can get to it via this. Ingot of the skies is why it's called that. And we also need one of these. I didn't realise that and that's why we needed to do all of that stuff. Oh, more conduit. Oh my god. Uh, I'll need to automate making conduit at some point. Token of sorrow as well. I've not made any of these yet. Okay, let's let's attempt to try and get one of these ingot of the skies then. If not A sky bee would be good. We could get a sky bee. Uh, but yeah, Rune of Mana is where we are headed. Saying that, why don't we just go straight for Parasteel? Agglomeration plate is probably like ridiculous, right? It is not that bad. Block of Mana Steel. We might have. Uh, we need a Rune of Mana for that anyway, so that's why. <laughs> I'm assuming we get two from that as well. So the first part of the quest is it wants us to make some tainted gold. So that is actually arcane gold. So we need to make some more of that at some point. There's our first tainted gold. And we get a token of anger. Brilliant. So I don't actually have to make another one of those to make the uh, massacator or whatever it's called. Um, I think the next quest is actually to make spirit of calling so we do need to make these other two uh, what was the okay I'm glad we made the rainbow runes because uh, that's going to be very useful I have been kind of building up a stash of stuff uh, this is to make these tokens of anger, but now we've got a token of anger. Maybe I just go and make another masquer. Get one of those scales. So shadow gem. No, it's called it's D, not an F. There we go. One of these. Fingers crossed. That's everything. I do need one of these. Knew it. I'm really glad that the portal was super quick to get into the uh, undergarden. Uh, I have got my blood orb on me. It's really good having a uh, having a backpack. I do want to look into upgrading my backpack though, because that would be super useful having more room because it is getting a bit cramped in there. And all of this, I hope we can automate at some point. I don't know if there's any way of automating this. You might be able to pump into this, to be fair. So we've got this, this. Uh, what was the other bits that we need? Forgotten ingot. Oh, okay, this doesn't seem like it's going to be a good idea. And I'm not entirely sure if we can actually use a soul gem on this dude. In fact, I'm pretty certain you can't, so what I might do is move this altar. And I'll move it downstairs into its own little room. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's go do that. So, I have set this up down here, but do you know what's happened? Our Draugmi's dead, because I'm guessing the... Uh, the effects from nature's aura killed him off and so did our <laughs> and our guster all all three of these must have um been exposed so this is kind of the perfect time to do this because we're gonna have to go capture those things again and bring them down here but i'll need to fix the aura afterwards this is kind of a waste of the altar but and we are going to need the altar again but i'm going to create a new one for that Oh, this is really going to screw our aura up. I'm dreading doing this after what happened last time. But for now... What was the last thing? I swear I'm missing something. Forgotten ingot. Ah, yes, right there. Cool. Okay. 
So I hope this is going to be big enough. Three tall. Oh, hello. And just look at my buffs already. It's... Ow. Oh, brilliant. Let's try and grab him. Okay, at least let's try and kill him. Ah, uh, finally we've got some of these, these things. Uh, I am going to need to go fix the aura again. Let's have a look see what it's done up here. It's like shaved off. Ow. It's shaved off all of these. So I need to make some more of those ancient thingies. Are all of my... Are they getting hurt? They look like they're getting hurt. And it's my fault. No. Oh, why do I do this? Oh, all my bees are going to die as well. This was not a good idea. Uh, ow. Do you get saplings back from breaking these leaves? I doubt you do. I've just been creating like a bunch of them. That's why I went and got a bunch of dates. No bees, please. Ow. Ah, I've only got four dates. Ow. Why are you hurting me? Interesting. Right, let's make some more ancient saplings. So, RIP to my bees that were in here. Uh, I did manage to come in. It, I, the only one that I have lost right now is um, the... We got the basol, we got the bliss. Blitz and Blizz. Blizz. We're missing Blizz. So we need to go find another Blizz at some point. Ah, it's a right pain. Although, I don't know if we can maybe use the, the, the altar to spawn in a, a new Blizz. Or Basol. No, whichever one it is. Uh, Blizz. So Blizz is the one that we're looking for. So we might be able to make a new one of these dudes. Oh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a pain. I, I did make a few new ancient saplings and I was just downstairs trying to figure out what chunk that is. So S3G. So, okay, so up, up, up. It's this one here. I did grow a few more trees. Let's grab, I don't know, that amount of dirt and just place them, like, here as well. Something like this. Should do it. Um, I'm still getting, like, damaged and stuff, which is not amazing. Gonna be a massive like tree area, woody area. Uh, I'm also thinking I could probably plop some trees on top if that's a thing. As in, I could just grow them on top of these trees. That might work. Who knows? So if I plop up here like this, this is the chunk. I believe it's the chunk at least. Well, yeah, you can see they got shaved off this area. So if I stick that down. Yeah, that's just going to be grown right there. Maybe I'll go on top of this one as well. I don't think it matters where you are in the chunk. It's like specific to the chunk itself. <laughs> I believe. Oh, man. I hope some people have learned something from this experience. Because it's a bit mental. Mental. Right. Let's get rid of that. 
we got some of those scales at least. I mean, it was it worth killing all of my mooses, apparently? What the flip? And, like, a lot of my bees. I, I do, as I said, the only one I kind of lost there. Oh, my RGB was in here as well. I may need to go get a new RGB. Yes, he's not there anymore. Oop. My chicken's probably gone as well. Are you seriously not doing anything up here? I've still got breathlessness. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we take these roses. Okay, this is getting proper bad. I I grew a bunch of trees, as you saw, and now I'm still getting the, the hurting thing. So we might have to do some of the generating stuff whilst being hurt every single bloody minute. So, in the quest, it actually lays out a few of the ones that we can do. Um... Devours the moss off of mossy stone variants and replenishes aura. Cool. Okay, we don't want that one because we haven't got that much of that. Uh, okay, I'm not going to read that. What does this one do? Growing crystals under... Uh, one of these is probably probably do this one because it's, it's just... Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to make one of these. So, of course, I've got my glyph press down here, so I can just do something like that. Looks like it's pulling from this one. Can't remember if it, like... Yeah, there you go. Shoots it up. Perfect. Uh, and then... Sun Blossom. Let's go grab one of those. Uh, I actually have some emeralds over there, so this thing might be full up as well now. Oh no, it's not doing as good as I thought it was. Oh my. No! <laughs> You're kidding me, all of my villagers are gone. Oh, I need to do some more villagers at some point. Brilliant. This is the fun though, this is like a rebuild now, because... <laughs> We uh, did something very silly twice. We actually did it twice now. Awesome. And this, hopefully. Perfect. We've got one of these now. Is this going to give us anything good in the quest? Token of Sorrow. Isn't that the last one I need? Oh, no, no. It's the other token. The, like, grey one that we need. Uh, so I should probably just stick this downstairs. So I have no idea how much aura is in my area, so I'm going to create myself one of the eyes. Uh, which will let me see that. So, where is my bone? There it is. And... Haunted Bell. I'm going to do this somewhere else so I don't screw the aura up in this area. It's, um... Yeah, let's pop up here. Let's go. Got one called Far. Let's go over here. Hello. Oh wow, you are actually beefy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting so frustrated by this. I died with all of my levels as well, and I'm really far away. Oh dear. I don't have a bell, so I had to come over here and grab a new one. And I didn't bring any lightning with me. Otherwise, I would just craft it here. Brilliant. Right, take two. And I actually have uh, Oreo on this time.
Ah, uh, come on. Where'd you go? Over there. Huh. Thank you. Did you drop the thing I need? Is that it? What the flip is that thing? Oh my goodness. That was a lot of damage. Right, I made it back. <laughs> Still getting hurt by the sickness stuff. Uh, I am trying to make... What is it? Eye? This thing. Environmental eye. So I need one of these. Chanted dash, lapis dust. Ah, okay. I'll get all of the bits for this. Okay, this should be everything I need for this eye thingy. There we go. Oh, stick that on. Now we can see the aura in the area. Over here, it's quite low. I kind of thought it was like per chunk. Oh, oh. It's not per chunk because otherwise. Oh man. Okay, I do need to like. Do I open this area up and put in? A bunch of those trees from upstairs. I might have to do that. Okay, I've been doing this for ages. I went and found a forest area, a flower forest, and picked up a bunch of different flowers. And apparently, there's like you need six different ones to, I don't know, something like that. And I've just been planting these down, and this thing's been absorbing it and putting... Oh, at least now it's not got that little mark at the top. So we are making progress, at least. Uh, let's get those in here as well. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, it's going up! It's going up! Thank you! Okay, this is getting good. Going up, we're going up. That means I shouldn't get my... I oh know, it's still breathless, but I'm not getting damaged at least. Things in the area aren't getting damaged. Oh. It's just taking a while. This is me for the next, like, five minutes until I run out of flowers and have to go back and get more. <laughs> And there we go, we've got maxed out aura in this area. Oh, well, that was fun. Uh, I need to set my action bar back up. And done. Oh, right. Uh, I'll probably need this as well. Axe, yeah. I'm going to go try and find all the places. Like over here, it might be a little bit crap. What about over where I originally had it? Now it's gone back to normal. Cool. I can still stick this down and make it, like, have lots of aura in this area. Uh, the reason, by the way, that I was, uh, like, I had them all set up on my bar and I was scrolling through them is because there's diminishing returns. So, for example... It's not that bad, to be fair. I could just start spamming poppies. That's really good. Uh, this is how we can get some spirit of birdings, by the way. Is we can just do this here. Cool. Right, anyway, now we've sorted that out, we could probably go and make some endo flames. Or cakey muruses. I think it's, um, is that what the quest requires? Yeah, we did get this. No idea. Oh, infused sun metal. That's pretty good. Ah, that's where that one went. Okay, so we do have all of our bees. I should probably go set them up at some point. They're in here. So that is nine altogether. Uh, when you kill a bee, by the way, it seems to just drop the larvae. Like, whenever. So, yeah, don't worry about it, basically. Nice one. Right, let's... Uh, have a look at the quests and see which ones we should be doing for Botania. If you remember, this is what we were doing. <laughs> Endo flame. So 
This one, I think, is food. Uh, but we are going to do an endo flame. So we've got all the bits for this. Phyto Grove. So brown, red, light grey. Brown. Eh. R red. Do I not have mystical red? Okay, mystical. I do. It's right there. I don't know why it didn't come up. Anyway. And light grey. And the only... Alright, let's get rid of a few of these bits. Only thing left is... Wow, I could do this. Oh, you know what that's happening. Yep, <laughs> I need to uh, uh, clear these out. Right, that's sorted. Now I can just lob all of these bits in here. And there is the endo flame. Yes. God knows if this is like any good now. They may have uh, buffed it or they may have like decreased how good it is. I might make it into a floaty flower. Wait, does it need to be one of these? No, it can just be any floaty flower. Okie doke. So, that's just a glimmering with pasture seeds and some dirt. We could probably do that. Let's have a look. Glimmer. Uh, I know I've got some red, so let's just do a red one. And there we go, got a floating endo flame now. So if we were to lob that here and then ancient woods kind of burnable. There you go. That's kind of feeding this mana spreader though. We are gonna need to make a bunch of mana spreaders, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, so that gets us the goggles. Inner arts. I don't need that. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. When you look at this, it will show you the radius. It's quite far. So it's way bigger than I thought it was. Awesome. And then the open crate is how you automate the uh, mana pool, pretty much. So if I was to stick it, not there, but directly above this thing, so like here. Whatever you uh, like, hopper or pipe in or whatever, it would just drop straight down, so it would drop into the mana pool. So you can do a lot of stuff with, with these open crates. Uh, right, now we've got mana. Why did we get mana in the first place? This is the, <laughs> the great part about this pack. You just completely get lost. I think the idea is to set yourself some goals. Okay, so it was to... Something to do with this, wasn't it? So... We can grab these bits, at least. And I've got some sulfur over here. My bees probably died in here as well, so I'm going to need to get some new sooty bees. Ah, poop. Has this gone down quite a bit? It has. Oh, it's got loads to process anyway, so that's fine. Uh, let's pop into the nether. No, not never. It's in in here. Yeah. Uh, something like this. I left my orb in here. That's why I couldn't find it. This should give us some of this refined crimson, please. Yes. Sweet. And cool. We need to do that because of this and I need to get into the occultism summoning stuff uh, yeah because if we're going to get to tier 4 because technically we are currently just tier 2 but we can make a tier 3 if we put our minds to it uh, if we make a tier 4 
we can get out of this place because we can make the master blood orb and that is the requirements in the quest so we kind of don't need to look in here anymore we need to look in blood magic this is what we need this blood large blood stuff so I need to figure out how this stuff works because I have no idea if I'm honest I believe you have to use some like chalk and that chalk can only be used in certain dimensions so uh, oh, oh hello occultism there we go so this white chalk is made like this so plant oil lots of stuff we need to do with blood magic actually looking at it now i do have all the bits except for so this is just burnt other stone for this this chalk here so i've got all the bits i can make this i've got all the bits to make that i need this overworld other world sorry other world wood to turn it into other world ash and the way that you do that is you have a demon fruit and it makes you look my well, it looks super weird i've only got two so i'm gonna have to try and find myself if i pop that actually i can do it from up here can't i with this map so somewhere around there i think is there any other places so that looks about right so over here i think is going to be one of the where is it it's like that way so i'm going to go over until i'm near it uh and i can also Ooh. Is that aluminium that is aluminium that's really good for us we need that so if I run in this direction, I'm basically just going to mine our way over in that direction. And then we are... When we're nearer, then I'll, I'll turn and then we'll get there. And I'll show you what happens when we get there. And we are approaching. This looks like what I thought it would look like. Okie dokie. So if we look at this stone here, this andesite, you see how it says andesite occultism underneath it. I don't know if you can see that, but this uh, this oak tree says occultism as well. And okay, the glowstone does say Minecraft. So what we're going to do, let's go shapeless. We are going to need to eat one of these fruit. That is otherworldly right there and we did pick it up as otherworldly if you weren't using this fruit what would happen does that give us otherworldly saplings no it doesn't yeah ah oh, poo it's pretty pretty quick basically so you need a few of these uh but i do want a couple of these so we are just gonna do we have a debuff meaning we can't do it again or is it not every single time not entirely sure Okay, maybe it only does it a few times. We got enough now. So if I make my way back to the way we came in, which I believe is over this way, I'll uh, pop back home. We'll get some ash. We'll make this imperfect white chalk. You can upgrade it, and we probably should upgrade it. I'm not entirely sure if we need multiple of these or if we can only, if we can have one and that'll be fine and we just upgrade it and it will have all the previous ones but we'll find out this is also really good that's minecraft and the site this is also really good if you want to get like a ton of that other stone because what you can do is you can eat one of those fruit and there's loads of this andesite about and you can just mine it you can get it that way instead uh the little trick using journey map very useful in my opinion so now we can just turn this into overworld ashes lovely or other world oh, I keep calling it overworld so we popped in here and now I think it's oh yeah we need to do this first so 
One like that, one like that, one like that, one like that. That might be... I might be making way too many of this, but I think I'm going to make four. There you go. That should stop it at four, I hope. And then I'm just making a few of these just in case we need it for other stuff. Ah, potassium nitrate. Interesting. Why do we need this? I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, beside... Anyway, there's the four we needed. We can stick those back in. Uh, What was it for the chalk? Was it... Yeah, three... And then two. Like that. So I'm going to make two chalks, because I can. Ah, <laughs> oh, I used... Did I use all of my overworld things? I think I did. Oh, well. There's the impure chalk. Does this have a a thing that it... I kind of thought that you needed to use this in the... Like, one of the other dimensions, like you did for... Blood magic, but apparently not. Maybe I'm, I'm missing something. Uh, occultism. Never mind, we bloody didn't... We had a demon fruit. How have I not how have I not unlocked this yet? That is mental. Oh, right, let's go grow a demon fruit. We actually have one on us. That's pretty good. And we have some bone meal. Perfect. Uh I should have this over here. Do you think the dude died? I think he did, you know. I did want a few of these because we are going to eat them. Wait, what does it say? Eaten notice, no notable. Oh, okay, yeah. So the different foods that we get, the fruit doesn't give you any saturation or hunger, so it doesn't count. Sounds about right to me. Okay, so. Quests. Other stone and one of those. Spirits. Soul stone even, not spirit stone. There is the spirit. Spirit attuned gem. There is the other stone. We get a bunch of stuff for that. What was that? Oh, cool. Cool. And then we've got the impure chalk. I have some purified ink. I was just looking into the mod at that time, and I did make some. But I'd never looked at the flipping quests. Farmer's Delight, what did you give me? Nothing, apparently. Okay. Open crate gives me something. What is that? Okay. <gasps> Drag me shard. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to need to go set those back up at some point, but it's kind of in the back of my head to do that right now. And white chalk, you need to be tier one with a lot of... Okay, let's, let's go do that. And there we go. It is now on there. I did get a few more buckets of, uh, of blood in there. That is super quick. That's what I like to see. And there is the chalk that we wanted. I am also going to get the other chalk in there, because... Uh, never mind, you might give me some nausea. Oh, poop. Okay, you need to spawn as soon as you can. Go on, speed up. That doesn't do anything, I don't think. That was probably 6,000 buckets, right? Because it was three of them. Yes, that was this. Perfect. Well, you can turn off now. That's just going to go down. Anyway, we got the chalk. 
Oh, this has got durability. Did not realise that. So I am going to have to make a few more of those. Tier 2, I need to make... Whoa, that is another... Oh, didn't grab it in time. I need to make another... Impure chalk. Brilliant. Okay. And then we can make the golden chalk. And then that unlocks us like a bunch of stuff. Greedy familiar. We can get the satchels. So we can find... This has been on our list of stuff to do for the longest time. So... <laughs> We can finally get that done. Ah, oh, this unlocks us so much. Summon deer familiar. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Uh, in that case... Ah, oh, you're creepy. Okay. Let's get out of here. There we go, back in our base now. So, in that case, it looks like we have to get to purple chalk. No, it's tier three. We can make a tier three, that's fine. Yeah, we needed to get a purple chalk so we can unlock the Afrit. The Afrit. And then that gets us the red chalk. In order to use the Afrit essence in a ritual, you first. In order to use your Afrit Essence in a ritual, you will first need to infuse it into chalk, creating red chalk. Using this chalk in your pentacles will allow you to call on more powerful spirits such as the Marid, who... I like that. It slaps roof of stabilizer. This bad boy can fit so many things inside. Amazing. Okay, so we actually need to get to the red chalk before we can get out of the over the the under garden. Brilliant. Ooh. Okay, this is really useful. How do I get these infused? Oh, you need to do a one of these. Does it say what type it needs to be? Probably in the book, right? Why am I not using the book for this? Where is my book? Did I put it away? I bet I did. Right, where's the occultism book? Occultism. There it is. Yes. Okay, pentacles. That's the one I wanted to see. Let's have a look at... The one to make this. Also, is there one for this as well? Oh, no, that one's easy. Okay. So, spectral. Okay. This one. So, we do need the gold ones for that. Makes sense. Is there anything that just needs white? Or are we going to have to make the chalk types? Yeah. Ooh, actually, it will say right here. Okay, it looks like we can't even do a pentacle on its own. Surely we need it for some of these bits though, right? So... Oh, cool. So this this one here, this spirit, I just read this, will pick up items from the ground. And then there must be one for, like, crushing items. Must be somewhere. But we also need to make some of these sacrificial bowls. I'm going to make, like, a big amount of them. Anyway, I think that's kind of all we got for this episode. We will probably break into occultism next episode. So let's have a quick look at the stats. 5.42 days. Brilliant. Right, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.